Consumers generally prefer AI generated images of foods over real food images, especially when they're unaware of their true nature. According to the researchers, the results suggest that AI generated food visuals excel at enhancing the appeal of depicted foods by leveraging key features such as symmetry, shape, glossiness, and overall light and color. All of these are known to contribute significantly to the attractiveness of food imagery. Even subtle tweaks and positioning may enhance the appeal of AI-generated food images. So a lead author, Giovanni Battista from the University of Naples, Federico, he says, as humans, we tend to feel uneasy with objects pointing towards us, interpreting them as threats, even when it's just food. When tasked with replicating food photos featuring items pointing at the viewer, such as a bunch of carrots or a piece of cake, the AI positions the food so it doesn't directly point at the viewer. It's kind of saying how AI is already ready to interpret that type of psychology um, at this point in time. In the study, the researchers asked 297 participants to rate real or AI generated food images on a scale from not at all appetizing to extremely appetizing. The images depicted a range of natural, processed, and ultra processed foods from apples and carrots to chocolate milkshakes and potato fries. When participants were told how each image was generated, whether through photography or AI, they tended to rate real and AI versions equally appealing. However, uh, when participants were unaware of the image creation process, the AI generated version was consistently rated as significantly more appetizing than the real food image. So pause, uh, this kind of had me thinking, do we really even need those crews that make these food commercials? Like all they're really doing behind the scenes is zooming, maybe doing some panning around some food so, you know maybe adding some cool graphics here and there and maybe they're adding one or two human actors so then this just had me thinking and then i ran to google um how much does it cost to shoot a commercial for a major fast food chain google didn't really give me a direct answer so i ended up going to chat gbt um it's three main costs one is pre-production uh, which includes like the concept development storyboarding and location scouting um, this can be approximately one hundred thousand dollars and then as production costs um, this is usually the actual shoot uh, you're paying for human actors lighting um, basically all that stuff from pre-production uh, this is where you're really getting your value out of your food commercial and this can range from anywhere from fifty thousand to five hundred thousand dollars and i wouldn't be surprised if there are some commercials that have passed that half a million dollar mark and then there's post-production that's editing mixing added visual effects color correction um and there's still a ton of money that can go into that as well even though it could probably be like the least amount of money spent in the production process uh it can range anywhere from ten thousand to two hundred thousand dollars so if we're really summing that up adding some estimates around these numbers um you're approximately gonna spend about half a million dollars to shoot a food commercial compare that to popular ai that's coming out such as soar ai by chat gbt uh let's just say that's the cost of chat gbt premium which is 20 dollars a month and then you also have things like mid journey which is eight dollars a month uh you can pretty much shoot a food commercial for somewhere in the range of 28 bucks knowing this we can possibly see ai getting into a lot more food commercials and being used on a production scale but even though that all sounds good there are some drawbacks to that professor charles spence points out one of these um he says while ai generated visuals may offer cost saving opportunities for marketers and the industry by reducing the cost of commissioning food photo shoots these fine Findings highlight potential risk associated with with exacerbating visual hunger amongst consumers the phenomenon where viewing images of food triggers appetite and cravings this could potentially influence unhealthy eating behaviors or foster unrealistic expectations about food among consumers additionally the researchers also found out that AI generated images tend to depict foods to appear more energy dense compared to the originals particularly in the abundance trade uh, so just for instance if we 
kind of go into this a little bit more ai can increase the number of fries in the image or add more whipped cream to a dessert basically making it seem you know more than it really is given that humans have an evolutionary drive to pay more attention to energy dense foods this raises concerns that widespread dissemination of such idealized food images this could promote cue induced eating of unhealthy food ai is literally hacking us with the global movement towards more sustainable consumption patterns including the promotion of ugly fruits and vegetables there is a concern that constant production of ai enhanced food images might nudge consumers towards an unrealistic standard of how natural foods should look potentially harming sustainability efforts uh and it may maybe steer us away from eating something like this um but i'm not gonna lie um i would probably think twice and still not eat this what's your thoughts on ai imagery leave love it or hate it in the comments below i want to see which one takes over in the comments um make sure you like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one